As cases drop and vaccinations continue, restrictions are being lifted. But now there is a growing concern about a new coronavirus variant known as the Delta variant and the problems it could pose in the weeks and months ahead. New information out of the UK shows 99% of that country's new COVID cases in the last week were linked to the Delta variant. The mutation was first discovered in India. It's considered more contagious than other forms of the virus. The Pfizer vaccine reportedly about 94% effective at preventing hospitalizations linked to this variant. But there are concerns about the issues it could cause in the U.S. if vaccinations continue to plateau. And joining us now to talk about those issues, give us some insight into this variant that we're starting to see here in the U.S. is Dr. Robert Schooley, an infectious disease specialist at UCSD. Hello, Dr. Schooley. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure. So as you know, the state just reopened as this variant is on the rise. How concerned are you about the dangers it could pose here? I think we were right to reopen. We're at a good stage, particularly in San Diego, with about 75 percent of the over 12 population, at least with one uh, dose of, vac of vaccine. Uh, but it's really important to get that second dose. The uh, One of the reasons they're having trouble in the UK is they went with this idea of just giving the first dose to try to get more people vaccinated. And the uh, Pfizer and Moderna vaccines really are much less effective against this variant if you've only had one dose. Uh, the other issue is people who are not vaccinated uh, are at significant risk from this variant because it grows more rapidly. Uh, it turns off your immune system more effectively, and it is much uh, less responsive uh, to the monoclonal antibodies that are available for treating. So it really does put people at risk if they remain unvaccinated as this, fact, as this virus moves into our community. Well, given what you've just said, you know, last night we had a packed house at Petco Park, more than 40,000 fans gathered. It should be a packed house for the rest of the weekend. How much time before we know whether there is, because we used to refer to them as super spreader events, how much time before we can determine whether perhaps we have had some spread take place at the game? I think we'll see uh, with these viruses, uh, not super spreader events and explosive uh, transmission, because we do have a fairly large fraction of the population uh, vaccinated. And we're more likely to have kind of a, a gradual creep of a, a increasing number of infections uh, around uh, the holes that I've talked about already. There will be some people who've been vaccinated who will have mild disease. Uh, there will be very few people who will have severe disease if they've been fully vaccinated. But those unvaccinated people uh, are really uh, a target for this virus. And in situations like Petco Park, even though it's outdoors, uh, this variant uh, puts them at risk. So I, I really think this is a, uh, a message that you have time to get vaccinated now uh, as the variant moves into San Diego. Get out there and get it done so you can go to Petco Park. You can go uh, to indoor venues like restaurants and bars uh, and feel safe. Um, this is not the time to wait. Dr. Schooley, as you know, this is just the latest in a series of variants identified around the world. Going forward, there could be even more. Do you think there is anything else that we can be doing other than get vaccinated or wear a mask if you're not vaccinated? Those, you know, in terms of personal activities, those are the two things that matter the most to prevent, uh, to, to protect yourself and your family. Uh, if you are someone who has a um, someone in your family who is a significant risk, even with vaccination, someone who's immunosuppressed, uh, that would be a good reason for you when you're out to wear, continue to wear a mask so you don't bring something home. Because we do know that uh, the virus can break through even if you don't become ill and you can shed the virus a bit and transmit it to other people, although much less likely than if you're not vaccinated. I think as a country, uh, from the political perspective, this is another urgent message that we need to take a leadership position to get the whole world vaccinated. Because the more unvaccinated people there are out in the world, the more time this virus has to play with uh, new variations that make it uh, more effective in transmitting uh, itself around the human population. We need to shut the door on this virus globally. And we can only do that if we limit the number of people who allow it to replicate. And that's gonna have to be done with vaccines. Dr. Robert Schooley is an infectious disease specialist at UCSD. Thank you once again for your time. Good to talk to you.